Are you going to give me an intro, Carl? I mean, I normally do the intros and yeah, I'm yeah. filming you, okay. but I thought this time you should do the intro. Do yeah, the yeah. intro. Come on. I want a quality intro for this <laughs> okay. video. Hi, welcome to another episode from Essential RC. Um, here's Dom with his new biplane, Tiger Moth, laser 100 powered, very, very pretty. Something a bit slower pace and different for him, but he seems to be enjoying it. Yes. So, Dom, give us a bit of Yes, this. so this is second hand, acquired from my good friend Adrian. I've always wanted a de Havilland Tiger Moth and a glow fuel powered one because I love, we all love electric models and the convenience of them and how clean they are, but sometimes it's just nice to have an engine actually in a plane. And, uh, you know, a period classic design such as this, as this de Havilland Tiger Moth, I think is fantastic. And my, my actual long-term aim was to convert this to FPV with head tracking so that I, it will be like I'm in the cockpit and moving my head and the camera moving as well, but that's a, a long-term aim. Today it's about just getting used to flying it and operating a nitro powered, glow fuel powered mo engine for the first time. So Carl's kindly lent me his kit for starting up the model. We fueled it up and uh, let's go. So uh, Carl, you might have to shout and tell me what to do. So I put the trim all the way to the top on the throttle. Yep. Uh, not necessarily. Lasers don't like too much air on startup. All so... right, so I need to put that down a bit. Okay, yep, no just problem. down a little bit. I need to have someone restrain them all because we'd normally have this <laughs> we'd normally put that into the ground but the ground is so hard at the moment and restraining the engine is uh, restraining the model is quite important yes. because when the engine starts up you don't want it to lurch forward and take your hands off <laughs> so uh, I'm going to ask my good friend Trevor you didn't need to bring your plane with you <laughs> he wants to get in the shot though <laughs> he just wants to be famous <laughs> thanks Trevor I'm good like that so turn that on, turn the model on and check everything is working, all good. Right Carl, so just... Yep. Just glow onto the um, port on the side, the remote glow. Handily. Now I don't know who built this, but I have a huge respect for anybody who builds this type of thing out of a kit. I don't know if it's done by Flair or they used to do um, De Havilland Tiger Moths. I, I genuinely don't know, but it would be great to know, but they've done a, pr a really good job. It's, uh, it looks really nice. So let's put that on there. So we are... Uh, and just check you've got voltage on the meter, should be in fine. the green. Yeah, it's in the green. Perfect, yep. And then start, yeah? Yep, that's it. Just make sure the prop's clear. So if I stand behind it like that, keep it out of the way. Nice crosswind to help me as well.
combo down. Fantastic. There we go. I thought that flew really, really well. I was getting more confident with it each time I flew a circuit. So uh, I think that's a bit of a winner. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, well, doing a, probably one more flight to get a bit more aerobatic with it and then putting some FPV gear in it to get that first person view in cockpit experience of flying it as well. So, uh, Carl, thanks on camera. Yep, Hope it's I, been uh, focused. Well, I should apologise. This is my first attempt on camera, so apologies if it looks like It does most of the work for you, so no excuses. <laughs> it's a great piece of technology. <laughs> um, okay, so thanks everybody for watching uh, my first flight with uh, this de Havilland Tiger Moth. Really enjoyed it, powered by a Laser 100. Old school, but we love that, some of that. And uh, look out for more on the Essential RC YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Yes!